Hi there, it's Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.etsy.com here with another weekly vlog where I show you the items that I am listing and selling on Etsy and occasionally eBay and sometimes I show you other stuff that's going on in my life. And I hope that you will join me and right now I'm going to show you a few things I got listed today. Okay, I'm going to start out with these green glass plates which, as you can see, our uranium glass. It's so much fun. I never get tired of looking at that. I have 10 of these. Um, I don't know if they're dessert plates or luncheon size plates. They're very pretty, pale green color, and um, I don't know whether they're Anchor Hawking or Imperial or somebody else. They're not marked, um, and they all did similar patterns. And I have those listed for $145 for all 10 free shipping. Um, everything I list these days is free U.S. shipping. And we have this blue glass and crystal and sterling silver beaded necklace. It's got these really cool dangly beads that look like half of a bivalve shell. Bivalve shell. And they're, um, I'm sure that there was a mold made from a real shell and then they're cast in silver. I did test them. They are sterling silver. The clasp is sterling silver. The beads are all either glass or crystal or silver, I think. I think. And uh, it's, it's, I know you can't really see it too well here, but it's three strands. And that I listed for 38. And we have this cute little flower brooch. It's a enamel on metal red and white flower, probably from the 1960s. It's got that type of this V-shaped pin is a giveaway that it's a mid-century. Like 50s, 50s and 60s, I think, was when they used those the most. And I listed that for 18. Ooh, there seems to be a fly in here. Ooh. And then, um, then we have this bracelet, which is double rows, Stations of the Cross, did I say necklace? It's a bracelet. And I'm blocking all the light so you can't see it. Maybe you can see it better over here. Um, it's got links of double roses and then see it's got a little cross. And then if you turn it over on the back, it has the Stations of the Cross. Which, I grew up Catholic so I'm very familiar with Stations of the Cross. It's a Catholic devotional. It's a series of prayers that you do commemorating the crucifixion. I always found it kind of um, a little bit sad and scary when I was young. Anyway, but this way, you know, you don't have to, usually you go to the church and do the Stations of the Cross at the church, but if you can't make it to a church, you can do them with this thing on your wrist. Anyway, it is sterling silver, and uh, I listed that for 32. And here is my one sale for the day. I sold this lot of five Fiesta Ware uh, nine and a half inch plates, I think they are. And those sold for $64. Okay, the stairwell walls and window trim have been completed, except for a hole up there where the smoke alarm was. I made them take that one down because we can't reach it. Makes it a little difficult to um, replace batteries when it goes off in the middle of the night telling us it needs batteries. Anyway, this is done. I'm going to start putting everything up today. <laughs> everything that's all over the house. This is Stuff over there, stuff there. That I just got done unwrapping some dishes that I'm getting ready to photograph. Some more stuff over there. It's it's um, a pretty big wreck, but um, I'm confident it's going to be improving soon. Hi there. It is Tuesday night, and I'm going to show you the four items I got listed and the three items that I sold today. Um, first off, we have more china. This is um, William Guérin of 
um, France, Limoges, France, who made these dishes for a glassware and china shop in Chicago, a very fancy one. Um, I have ten of these plates. These belong to my husband's grandmother. And let's see if I can show you. It's very dark, as you can probably tell. Okay, that was pretty loud. <laughs> now you can kind of see how pretty that edge is, that gold edge on there. They're lovely dishes. It's a shame that people don't really use fine china much anymore. But I listed the 10 plates together for $162. And they're in really good condition. And we have this little beaded necklace. It has these carved rose beads. I don't know if that's wood or what that material is. Then the beads are agate and bone. And it's a very attractive orangey color. Just a little, uh, just a plain little beaded necklace. And uh, listed that for $18. And then we have these fancy beads. These are Venetian glass wedding cake beads which is the name that they give to these beads that have the gold glitter color on them and the pink roses and these are really ornate ones they're very finely done I think that probably means they're older but I don't know for sure uh, I think this necklace dates to maybe the 1960s it's got a barrel clasp uh, it does have the nylon beading wire rather than string and I think it may be an even older necklace that was restrung. It's just a hunch. Uh, let's see, I have one more thing here. Let's see if I can get it over here. And this is a little needlepoint lady in her frame with glass. I put a new hanger on the back and I patched up. Oh, stop shaking. Um, patched up or touched up where these um, little bits of the frame are missing. <laughs> it's a little, this is, I'd say this is definitely a shabby chic or cottage chic, but it's so cute. It probably dates to the 1940s. That's when those, this type of little lady was very popular. And I don't know, again, it's just a, if you look at the back, you can tell it's quite old. So it might even be older than the 40s, but I think it's probably not newer than the 40s. Anyway, I listed that one for 28 Okay, so here are some items that I sold today. We have this lot of three paper mache Mexican Lupita dolls. These two on the ends, the little ladies, they're from Guanajuato. And I don't know where the little gentleman is from, but he's so cute. A little bit beat up, but still so cute. And they just don't really make these much anymore because as soon as plastic dolls became these were these were the type of toys that were made for children who couldn't afford real dolls you know like china dolls um, but as soon as the plastic ones became available these started going out of fashion now they are still made as tourist items but not so much for children anymore a uh, lot of those sold for $65. And then we have this um, silver plated, I think, humpback whale bracelet. And that sold for $18. Is that right? $14. Oh, so cheap. $14. And then we have this um, mid century modern Mexican silver and onyx fishy bracelet. And the fish sold for 38 And we have this tiny little Mexican silver and abalone perfume funnel. So if you have like a little purse bottle for your perfume, you can fill it from your larger bottle with this tiny little... It, you, they used to come with the silver overlaid perfume bottles. And let's see. I believe that's it. Hi there. It is... 
Thursday afternoon and I'm going to show you some things I got listed yesterday and today. I've been busy, busy, busy and I'm remembering to do it before it gets dark today. I'm going to have to change my schedule a little bit and start doing these videos before dinner so that I have some daylight to work with. Okay, first off we have a set of these water goblets which are gold encrusted, paneled, and I have 11 of them. Got to wonder what happened to that 12th one. It wasn't in the box. Um, so these are, I think, one of the Minton patterns by Glastonbury Lotus. I may have mentioned that already this week. I don't know that I identified the pattern absolutely. Um, they're so similar. There's a lot of them that are called Minton with different names and numbers and things. And I feel pretty sure it's one of the Mintons, but I don't know if I identified the right one. Anyway, the, um, that whole set of glasses uh, I listed for $110. And then we have another one of these uh, Indian hand-carved statues. This is a really, really big one. Big, tall. This is the many-armed goddess Lakshmi. Lakshmi, if I say that right, I don't know. And um, I have her listed for Lakshmi, $64. Uh, and then we have some books. We have, this is... Fawcett's works. And these are some religious sermons and whatnot by John Fawcett. And it's kind of neat because it was published in 1824. See right there? 1824. This is probably the oldest book I've ever had. And it's a little bit beat up as you can see, but it does have a leather spine. And there's nothing missing from it. And um, so let's see, that one got listed for $45. And then I listed these two books together, mostly for their attractiveness. This one is a Dickens Works Nicholas Nickleby Volume 1. Um, I could not, couldn't find what, um, you know, these were reissued and reissued and reissued. Some of the issues are very valuable, some aren't. I really wasn't able to determine. I couldn't find any exactly like this, so I guess I'm taking my chances by throwing it out there. But I have this and then a, a book on um, arithmetic. Leather, just put it there because it's leather bound. And I have those two listed together for $35. Okay. Uh we have jewelry. Um, this is, I thought for sure it was going to be Bakelite because it sure looks like it, but it's not. Some type of acrylic. This is sterling silver, this face. And I was surprised when I found that it did have a mark on the pin stem itself right here. Very, very tiny. You will never be able to see it. It said Xena, which is Xena of Beverly Hills. I've had one other piece of hers. Um, and it's just kind of neat. I think this has got some scratches on it, but I think a jeweler could probably buff those out pretty easily. Um, and that I listed for 32. And then this is another interesting one. This bracelet, this mesh bracelet. This is signed um, Ferrara, which is Anthony Ferrara, I think is his name. He's, um, Ferrara Mesh is the company, and he specializes in mesh, but he does ooh la la haute couture uh, clothing and accessories, and he's been on all kinds of magazine covers and ads like Absolute Vodka ads and um, Playboy and Cosmo, and he's been on the red carpet, and he's, he's fancy. Um... <laughs> And I have a little bracelet of his. I don't know if it's like early before he was famous or if it, if his company just also does more modestly priced items. But I did find a few out there. They don't seem to be particularly rare or super, super valuable, but a little valuable. Uh, this about that for $35. And then we have a little um, Mexican silver, or no, this is just um, sterling silver. I don't know where it came from. 
a malachite ring, kind of a southwestern, but very minimalist southwestern. Uh, it's a size eight and three quarter ring, so it's a nice big one. And um, let's do that for 32. And then lastly, we have these cute earrings. These are Mexican silver and the uh, Aztec mosaic with the little turquoise chips. And it depicts a double gourd or a calabash. It also has a lot of other names. I find it interesting that the um, gourds are, are really important in China and in Mesoamerica. And you'll see, see them in um, both places in decorative work. In Mesoamerica they have been cultivated for 8,000 years and they use gourds for everything from food to water bottles and pieces of art and they carve them into bowls and they do all kinds of things with them. So they're a very important crop. And the gourd earrings I listed for 26. That is your little history lesson for the day. And here are the items that I'm packaging up to ship tomorrow. It was um, five orders, uh, but two of those orders are going to the same person. So it's really only four packages with several pieces of jewelry. All jewelry today. Isn't that weird some days? Some days are like that. Um, okay, so we start out with this sterling silver and I don't know if it's onyx or enamel, the black squares, but it's very modernist, possibly mid-century. And that sold for $28. And we have this art glass heart necklace, which I think is very cute. I don't know where it came from, but it's very interesting on a little gold tone chain. And uh, that sold for $18. And then these are the items that are all going to the same person who is one of my best customers. Thank you so much. You know who you are. This is a lot of three Victorian-ish brooches, costume jewelry brooches. This one is particularly pretty. Because okay. it's got the carved glass. And my camera doesn't really focus. So you can't see it that well, but it's really neat. Okay, uh, the three Victorian brooches sold for 39 And we have two sterling silver rings. One is a, a dome ring. And one is a pink mother of pearl ring. And those together sold for $29. And we have this brass and lapis lazuli cuff bracelet with a kind of a southwestern look to it. And that sold for $32. And then we have a lot of two pair of sterling silver earrings. These are particularly nice. Silver overlay with the black oxidized background. Are these Mexican? I don't know. Yes, I think these are Mexican silver. These might be too. These are just some silver bead clusters. Both of these are screwbacks. And uh, those sold for 32 for the two pair. And I believe that's it. You aren't going to talk to me? Muffin? You going to talk to me? You? You? No? Yeah. You're such a good girl. You? Yeah.
Hi there, it's Friday night and I have one order to show you. I have some listings, but I'll show you those in the morning. And here it is. It's a, a dishcloth or it's actually fairly thick. I think it might be more of a table mat with this adorable applique bird design on it. I think this probably dates to about the 1940s and that's sold for $15. The library where the Long Beach was in this group, Long Beach Orchestra or something like that, doing a little concert for us. It's very exciting. been here before but not this particular little spot and we're gonna eat our egg salad and bagel sandwiches and what else do we have we have nectarines we have granola bars and probably in here somewhere is a yes dark chocolate Hershey kiss for medicinal purposes okay that's it oh my god I think I have fingers on, on the screen the whole time oh sorry no. hi there Somehow it got to be Sunday night. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> but, um, I did want to tell you that I think I'm going to take a little break from doing the vlogs for a, a while. Not too long, probably, but um, I've been, my heart really hasn't been in it. I've been just too busy with other things and, and not spending the time on it that I should. And um, I'll still do haul videos in, when I haul, which is, I don't know when that's going to be because I'm still. I still have so much to list from the garage and stuff like that. But um, anyway, I will show you the last few things that I listed and what I am shipping tomorrow. Okay, starting with more grandmother wedding crystal. This is the champagne glass or a, or a tall sherbet glass. Uh, the It's that same uh, gold encrusted from uh, my mind is blanking now I can't think of the maker but anyway these date from the 1920s there's uh, I believe 10 of those and I have those listed for 74 um, let's see I haven't listed these yet I'm in the process um, so I have some jewelry we have um, another one of these little, uh, it's like a prayer box, but it doesn't open. It just looks like a prayer box. This is probably from India. It is either, you know, make, maybe 800 silver or maybe sterling silver. It tests the sterling silver. It's not marked. But very pretty little pendant necklace, which is part, it was part of a bigger necklace that I got in pieces, and I was unable to reconstruct it, so I'm making smaller necklaces from the pieces of it. Um, I have that listed for 42 uh, and then I have this which is a um, necklace enhancer it's just got a hook on the back and you just hook it on to like a beaded necklace is what it, where it really works best to turn it into something really special and it is rhinestones but the two red stones are real garnets so that's kind of interesting. And I listed that for $19. No, is that right? Yeah, a yeah, pretty good price for real garnets. And then we have this. This is a rhinestone snowflake necklace. Uh, it's got little red rhinestones, and then the clear ones are Aurora Borealis. I think this was a Christmas ornament originally, and I turned it into a necklace. But that'd be really nice for the holidays. Kind of not a, doesn't scream Christmas at you, but it seems seasonal. And that I have listed for 18. And then we have, I'm sorry, I know, I was going to do this in better light, and then of course I didn't. Uh, this is green glass beads. 
They're hand knotted. They're very nice. They have a sterling silver clasp. Probably mid-century. They look like um, oh, what do you call that fake jade? Oh, my mind is gone tonight. I can't think of any words. Um, anyway, it's they're kind of swirly green. Really pretty. It's a double, a double strand, kind of a choker length. And I have those glass beads listed for thirty-two. And these are my weekend sales. Um, I sold two of these divided plates. They're old Fiesta ware from the 30s or 40s. One turquoise, one cobalt blue, and those sold for $45 a piece. Still have more to sell. Uh, then this is um, a Mexican silver set. They don't actually go together. I mean, they weren't intended to go together. They're by different makers, but they go together very nicely. The pin is by the artist known as A.E. Inside a Heart Shaped M. Nobody knows who it is, but it's a famous maker nonetheless. <laughs> Very nice workmanship on that. And then these are by Maricela, which is uh, another really desirable maker. So uh, that set sold for, I believe it was 79 And then um, going to the same person, who's one of my regular customers. Thank you. You know who you are. Um, this is a little milk glass cameo in a silver plated set and I do believe this one is genuinely Victorian um, or you know could be a little newer but it's it's old it's got a C clasp it's not signed and the the way the design of it is very um, kind of Victorian looking anyway I thought it was awfully cute and that sold for, what was it, 22 22 Such a deal. Okay, so um, I'm going to end my vlog on that. And I thank you for joining me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I will be back, I promise. Just don't know exactly when. There may not even be a break the way. I've got a big backlog of videos that I need to edit. And throw up so um, you may not even perceive that there's a break but anyway I'm probably not going to be shooting video for a couple of weeks at least till I get caught up and but anyway Muffin says bye I'm sure Rob would say bye if he could hear me and uh, everybody stay safe and I'll see you again soon mm -hmm.